everyone, welcome to another Make a Card Monday video. Today I'm starting out with this background stamp from My Favorite Things, and I'm going to be creating a more masculine card today. I'm thinking this would be a good card for um, a boy, probably maybe age 7 to 16. I don't know. Um, that's, prob that's about the ages of my nephews that like video games, and this kind of has a little bit of a video game look to it. So I'm starting out by inking up this background stamp with slate ink from Simon Says Stamp, and I'm also using some slate cardstock. And this cardstock is actually cut to five inches wide by three and three quarters tall. It's slightly smaller than a standard size card. So I just inked that up and I pressed that cardstock onto the background stamp and then I'm just using some scratch paper over the top to protect my hands from getting really messy while I press that cardstock onto the stamp. That just makes it so you get a more even impression with a large background stamp like this. So I have that tone on tone look right there. I think it kind of almost looks like tire tread. So that's kind of where I was going with this for kind of a more boy card. So I'm using this stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. This is one that I designed for a card kit. And I'm going to be using the video game controller and you'll notice now it's colored. I skipped everything when I was coloring it with colored pencils because I ended up redoing it later. I just wanted to show you that I did try it with colored pencils. I think a few of you have been asking um, if I could show how to color with colored pencils. To be honest, I don't like the look very much, so I was really, really trying to make it work, but I just couldn't make it work. So I'm going to redo it with Copics in a minute. But in the meantime, I'm making sure this background is ready to have some stamping and embossing done on it, and it needed to be dried a little bit more before I could move on. Um, sometimes when you stamp, the moisture in the ink kind of sticks around for a little bit, even though it's dry to the touch. And because that moisture is there, it does attract that embossing pattern. So I just had to hit that with the heat tool and make sure it was completely dry. So I'm using some stamps from that stamp set and stamped some dots across the bottom and then I stamped the greeting that says you're a winner and I'm stamping these, uh, I'm going to stamp four stars, a two of each different size of stars that are included in that stamp set and I'm just doing all of this stamping in Versamark ink so that I can later add some white embossing powder. So after I have all of this stamped, I'm going to take it to my white embossing powder. And this is Hero Arts white embossing powder. I really do like this embossing powder. Um, it's really, really uh, a stark white and it uh, embosses really well. It melts really nicely. So I'm just heat setting that with my heat tool until it's completely melted. And then I'm going to move on to the rest of the card. Now, this is when I'm going to show you how I did the actual stamping of the video game controller. I used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink onto some Nina Solarite cardstock. This is just a regular 80 pound Solarite cardstock. And I'm going to be coloring most of the video game controller with uh, tones of warm gray. Now, one of the reasons why I didn't like that colored pencil that I uh, color that I did previous was that the black color was a little bit too cool toned and it didn't look very nice with the background paper, that slate cardstock that I was using. These more warm gray tones I look a little bit more, they look a little bit better to me. So I decided I wanted to do Copic coloring that and it's just a smoother coloring uh, look to it. And I really wanted it to look smooth like plastic, like a video game controller. So I'm just using some different shades of warm gray and adding all of those on there. I'm even adding some uh, slightly darker tones on the center of those buttons just to have a little more detail. And then I decided to bring in even more shading on the bottom of the controller as well. So I'll bring that in and then uh, bring back the other colors, the lighter colors to blend that out. Um, the, the, the trick with blending colors is you just wanna make sure that you work quickly enough that the cardstock is still a little bit damp when you add the additional colors because that means that the ink is still wet and still kind of moving around and pliable and you can uh, get it to blend. So I'm using R46 to add a red a red button on the left side and also in the middle. I'm using B24 to add some blue to the bottom and also to the middle. Then I added Y35 as a yellow button and G24 as a green button. And that's pretty much the game controller. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and start getting it ready to put it directly onto the card front. So after I cut that out, I decided to adhere the main stamping area that had the greeting. I wanted to have that on the card base first. So I rounded the corners with the We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. I'm using the half inch corner chomper. And then I put some foam adhesive on the back and adhered it to a basil marshmallow cardstock card. 
and then I used um, putting that on there to get the spacing just right. I'm going to be drawing a little cord coming from the controller. So I'm going to take a pencil and just draw in kind of a little squiggly line with a couple loops in it that fades off to the left or the right hand corner. And I'll just loop that up. And I'm just sketching it out with the pencil so it's a little bit easier to follow along. Now I took a white gel pen. This is my favorite white gel pen. And usually it writes pretty smoothly. But um, just like you guys have discovered, sometimes it just really doesn't want to cooperate. So you do have to go over those areas a couple times. It can skip a little bit sometimes, especially if you're drawing like smooth lines. If like, you're doing just a regular straight line, I find that it does a little bit better. So I took some foam adhesive and put it on the back of that video game controller and adhered that onto the card. And I'm going to add just a little bit of detail using some glossy accents. I'm adding a little bit of shine to those buttons on the controller. It's just going to make it look um, a little bit more interesting and add a little bit of shine to the image so you can see this up close. And that is the card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know you guys want to see more of these boy or masculine cards, so I'll continue to do these over the next little bit. But until then, thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys on Wednesday for a new Color Wednesday video. Once again, thanks so much for watching you guys. I have three more videos for you and they are my three most recent videos, including the mail call for June, last week's Color Wednesday, and last week's Make a Card Monday, which was also a masculine inspired card. So go ahead and check those out if you need some more card inspiration. You can hit that subscribe button in the top corner. You can also visit me at my blog at kwarnerdesign.com. Just a reminder that all of today's supplies for the card are listed down below in the video description or, or, or over at my blog, and if you click on that link to my blog right now. It'll take you directly to today's blog post. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.